Indiana's guards who are very good at getting into the paint and finishing with contact. Speaking of getting into the paint, that's exactly what happens here. Alicia Smith, the first points of the ball game. Right, it just comes down to making good poised decisions. Your shooting choices as well. Because if your teammates don't know shots are going up, that's going to be a turnover as well. Only one point for the Hoosiers the first two and a half minutes of action, but the Spartans are now up six to one. And reset the offense. You got to recalibrate. And not panic. This is Laura Joyner in the game, and that's a nice... We need Joyner to be another consistent scorer for us. We need at least three players who come out of the gates ready to score. That's the first basket of the ball game for Indiana. Has not had any COVID pauses, so they remain disciplined in that regard. Alicia Smith inside, gets it off the glass and in. We have not called her name much, a double Christy. double the last two games. No, but she has she has been terrific for Indiana as she drops that one home. We've got zero buckets for Berger, zero for Penn, one for Cardano Hillary, one for Pat Berger. Although that one does go down. If you slide and get established, and then the contact occurs, you're good to go. That's Kendall Bostic, the freshman who just checked in, and that's a three-pointer for Alexa Goulbe. Perfect shooting performance. What a nice drive for Indiana, pardon me, yeah, for Indiana's Keandra Brown, the freshman from Montreal. you got to close out tight on shots and contest high and hard. Alicia Smith with 10 points. The rest of her team has 14 combined. Check that. Well, she's just made herself available for viable scoring opportunities. Now we're starting to get some buckets. That's Goulbe inside. Can't quite get it to her just yet as the shot clock down to five. Cloudon just notices it and flips it a three. Almost 60% this season for Indiana. Holmes misses that, but Indiana gets another chance and the bucket is good. Jalen Penn from deep. Mackenzie's from Maine. She is, she's used to cold weather. In fact, that actually her freshman year as she gets the ball again inside, but a nice block on the other way from Alicia Smith. Terry Moore wanted to see that cleaned up. I mean, 17 turnovers in their last game against Ohio State. She said that was way too many, and they had a long film session to discuss. This is Cloudin at the top of the key. A-Rolf swinging it over. Janae Crooms hits the long one for the green and white. Great patience by Michigan State on that one. Mackenzie Holmes was late getting out to the corner, but I think she got clipped on her way to contest. There are other things that you can do to help the team. If your shot's not falling, you can get on the ground for 50-50 basketballs, hit the glass hard, and make plays for your team. You're stuck. Nia Cloud is going to make herself present to the basketball and nail a clutch jumper. Indiana is trying to get the ball inside. It is clear with that, Chris. Two more points. They have worked the ball inside, whether it's Holmes or Ghoul Bay early on here in the third quarter. But MSU answers right away with a three. That was an attempt for Alicia Smith to go six for six from the floor. Instead, it's her first miss of the night. And quickly, Berger goes all the way down the court. On fire under her feet, but she got out in time. Berger feeds Holmes, spinning the left hand. It's good, and she'll go to the line. Cloud another long two. She can hit those. Yeah, Cloud, and that was just smooth. Six of 11 from the floor for those 16 points now. Allie Patberg with an answer driving into the lane. And then now, as a senior leader, as you said, the 24-year-old senior leader for the Hoosiers, you just love to see the competitiveness come out of her. Jalen Penn, the steal. 6-2, strong, and a capable defender, as you see right there, closing down the paint. A nice spin move from Cloudon to get the layup. They're moving around a little bit more, and now against this man, they've got to try to attack it. Another possession where the clock is drained to the end when Pat Berg hits the mid-range. Well, just such a historic program, and Terry Moore in her seventh season has really just implored her student-athletes to play. It's just all tied into the success that they have on the court. 
The game will come to a close with that bucket counting and Indiana getting the 800th win in the history of their program.